Look at your mind and say, what you going through right now is fitting into a plan. Your B topic is this. Say, your situation is a plan to advance you. Amen. I'm going to grab that second one especially to me. Say, the situation, your situation is a plan to advance you. Sit down till the excitement comes. <laughs> Have a seat till you get excited about the word tonight. I don't know. I don't know what y'all looking for, but I don't have it. I don't have it. God's got everything you need tonight. I need somebody to know God got everything you need tonight. Don't start, amen, piling gloom on gloom tonight because I ain't no mood for that. It's too much blood flowing power in this house, amen? And I know that my situation is going into a plan of advanced mode, amen? Hallelujah. Amen. What you're going through right now is a plan to advance you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, 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 and then uh, Isaiah, I'm running quick. Amen. I'm going to be through in 10 minutes. Watch me. Somebody say amen. amen. I heard somebody giggle. The joke going to be on you. Somebody say glory to God. Glory to Come on, say glory to God. Glory to God. I'm going to just rush it right on through here. Amen. Because you really don't need to know nothing but what the word of God says. Amen. How many know his word is right? Amen. Can we just shout hallelujah to his name? Hallelujah. Amen. And again, I, I like what God said. Amen. What Isaiah said in uh, 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 chapter 14, 24 says, The Lord of hosts has sworn, saying, Surely as I thought it, so shall it come to pass. Amen. We got a God that only have to thank you of a miracle. Amen. Amen. Can somebody just look up and say, Lord, thank me of a miracle, please. He says, he says, surely as I have thought it, so shall it come to pass. As I have purposed it, so shall it stand. Yeah. Amen. What I purpose to happen is going to stand and not fall. That's why you should go ahead and see what God's plans are for you and not your own. Your plans are so broke down and raggedy, it's ridiculous. Amen. Your plans have failed you so many times. Can I get an amen right like there? Amen. And decide tonight that God's plans are going to stand. Amen. Now I'm going to call your attention to the Amplified Bible from Romans 8.28. Amplified. You don't have it with you because we've been in the message and the king, but follow the screen. Amen. She'll place it up there for you tonight. Amen. amen. Romans 8, 28. We are assured and know that God being partner in their labor, all things work together and are fitting into a plan. Everybody say they're fitting into a plan. Let me read that again. We are assured and know that God being a partner in their labor, all things work together and are fitting into a plan for good to those who love God and are called according to his design and purpose. What did God say? He says what you're going through right now is fitting into a plan. You can't figure out how in the world all this stuff I'm going through is fitting into anything. Talk to me in here today. But God came to serve you notice tonight that what you are going through is fitting into a plan. Amen. That's been designed for you. Amen. It says amen. And it's fitting into a plan for good. Amen. Not bad. Not a bad plan. Somebody say God's plans are not bad. But he'll take your bad plans and make them good. How many need your bad plans made good? Anybody in here has some plans that have failed them? You just really thought you had it going on and you just really thought it was going to work out this way and it just didn't work out that way. But it's not over. As long as you got breath in your body and a God on the throne, it's not over. Yeah. It's not over. He can take all of the wrong and he can take all of the messed up and bless it up. Yeah. He can take all of the pushed down, amen, messed around and make it work in your favor and fit it into a plan for good. Yeah. Why? Why should he? Why could he? Why would he? Because you love him. 
Scripture says all things work together for good to those who love God and those who are the called according to his purpose. And here in the Amplified Bible, after it fits into a plan for good and for those who love God and are called, look, according to his design and purpose. And right in this latter hour, it's a lot of people who wants to have designs on you. I'm teaching tonight. We got people that wants to make you out of a pattern they created for you. Look at somebody and say, I'm a pattern of God's. I'm the workmanship of his hands. Who do people think they are trying to make you follow a raggedy pattern where everything is stitched wrong? Amen. People patterns are nothing like God's. Right. Come on, wave your hand to the Lord. Amen. People little stuff is never going to come out like, like God's would. That's why you should acknowledge him in all your ways. Oh, oh my God. Somebody say, it's fitting in a plan. It's fitting into a plan. Your situation is a plan to advance you. 